What's up guys? My name's Stephanie. Today I'm going to start the arduous task of replicating my Prado 120. As you can see, paintwork on the passenger side has seen better days. Just ran into a tree there. We won't talk about that. But anyways, first thing to do will be to be take the roof rack off, take the front rack off, I'll be taking the wheel on the back off and just the inside of the door panels as I'll be doing the door jams as well. And it will be time to start sanding it. So get back to you when that time comes. Um, I spent until 10 o'clock last night here trying to get the rest of the taping up done. Didn't happen the way I wanted it to. As you can see, I still got the front windscreen to do and the engine bay, which shouldn't take too long. But anyway, I've done the inside of all the door jams, done the back. Everything else is ready to sand. That's all I've got left to do. And then my sister Phoenix is coming today to help me start sanding. So, yeah, let's get into it. Finished. Well, we finished masking. 
My sister Phoenix just messaged me. She should be rocking up any minute and we'll get stuck in the, start, in the sanding. Alrighty guys, so my sister Phoenix has finally rocked up. <laughs> Good morning. Um, like I said before, we're gonna get stuck in the sanding. Hey guys, so it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, Phoenix just left, she's got work. But we're coming along. It's been all day basically, but getting there. The roof's done, front end's done. Be another late one tonight, I reckon, but we'll get it done. No, stick around. day three um, on the Prado project and we're just gonna keep sanding at this point I mean gonna do the passenger side on the back the rear door and the other side and then we can go ahead and start bogging and priming and more sanding and then we can give it a wipe down and start painting. That's where we stand at the moment and just going to chuck you on another time lapse and we'll get to it. Hey guys, 
day four now. It's now midday. Um, Dad came around this morning to help me bog up a dent in the door where I hit that tree. Everything sanded. Just got the bull bar to do now. Um, I'll do that after I've finished bogging. But yeah, that's where we're at. So stay tuned. start doing is just getting a coat of primer over all the bare metal spots. I'll put some adhesion promoter on all the plastics and yeah we'll go from there. She's all primed, ready for an adhesion coat on the plastics, and then we can go ahead and start rapturing. I've also just very lightly sprayed the bulba with primer, made the tire holder, and I'll just spray some adhesion promoter on these ones, as well as the plastics, and then we're good to go. I've decided to do what I thought initially and paint the door jams matte black just to avoid destroying the seal that it has. I'd hate for water leakage in my car, I've already got that problem. 
which I'm fixing, but yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Also contemplating whether I should matte black the bull bar, but yeah, that's where we're at. So keep watching and stay tuned. Okay guys, I just finished the first coat of all the door jams in the matte black. As you can see, I don't know if you could see that with the lighting, but I've just done a very light coat over all the internal door jams. I'll probably do three coats all up. I'm going to need more matte black, but I've only got two cans on me. It's just started raining, so I might have to shut the door, but yeah, that's where we're at. Okay guys, it is quarter to four in the afternoon. Just finished sanding the bull bar. I've put matte black on the plastic parts of that bull bar. And as you know, there's matte black in all the door jams, but we're ready to mix some Raptor up. So I've just given the car another wipe down just to remove any of the dust that may have been sitting on there. And we're ready to go. So let's mix them up and get spraying. Hey guys, we've got the first coat on. Came out with a good texture, which I'm happy about. First coat for now. Got to wait an hour before I can go in with the second coat. I've hit the bull bar too, just with what I had left remaining after I've finished doing the car. And yeah, we're getting there. First coat, sweet eyes. Okay guys, so I've just finished the second coat. I couldn't film it because my phone was dead. It died halfway through the coat and I, to be honest, I forgot. <laughs> but um, yeah, second coat's done. I'll just turn the camera around and show you. It's looking very nice. 
I'm trying my hardest not to get any streaking. And I think I'm doing a good job, if I don't say so myself. Little imperfections in it here and there. But I've still got enough to do one more coat and a dust coat. So yeah, it's looking pretty mint, if you ask me. I've also done another coat on the bull bar. As you can see, I've still got some of the bar work to do. Keen to see the end result. I've still got tire holder for the back, the grill, and the light bar to do. But like I said, I've still got another box and a half. So I think I've got more than enough. Okay, we're back with day six, guys. Just gonna put the final coat on the Prado. I've still got to paint the grill and the rest of the bull bar and the tire holder for the back and the light bar. I'll do that when I finish the Prado. I just put one more coat on it and then a dust coat over the top and then we can get into painting these. And then it's time to put her all back together. So that's gonna be exciting. But yeah, that's it. We're done. She is all painted. I'm, I'm happy with it. Just got to put the ball bar and everything back on it, all the accessories. And then we're good to go. Now, painting the Prado took two and a half boxes of Raptor, four litre kits. Um, that was including painting the bull bar and everything as well. I did all the door jams with matte black, so I didn't use it for that. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. She looks good. Once I've got everything back on it, I'll take some photos and I'll put them at the end of this video. And you guys can see the end result and what she looks like out in the sun. Also, I'm going to have to name her now. She hasn't got a name yet, so... If you think of any names that you think would suit, comment down below and give me a like because that was a big job. I've got another plan for it. I've got something coming in the mail shortly. I'll post a video of what I'm going to do, but thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe. So you can see any other videos that my partner and I post. Yeah, thanks for watching.